Hey guys, this is Esther. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the finished altered junk journal that we worked on together. So, as you guys know, I decided to go with a butterfly theme for this one, and this is what my end result looks like. I love the 3D effect of the flowers, and this is what it looked. Look how chunky it got. Remember how it was really, really skinny? Well, this is how chunky it turned out. That's what it says there. I wish you to know that you have been the last dream of my soul. I love it. It is so cute. I love how it looks. I love all this little eyelash trim and all the lace and all that. And then in the back, as always, I leave them just, you know, pretty plain. So let's go through the inside. And if you're interested, this book will be for sale. There are $45 shipped and you will get the journal. And then you'll also get anything that I had left over from the project, which really quick before I show you the inside, will be this. It would be the two washer rolls that I used. It will be some of the things that I fussy cut and cut apart. It will be the leftover butterfly stickers, any of the leftover cards, and then you have tons of paper that you can still um, make photo mats from and stuff like that. So let me show you the book. Now when I ship this out, I'm going to have to flatten the wings of the butterflies, but you know, once you get it, all you have to do is just kind of fluff them up. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to go through it kind of quick, so it won't be a super long video, but you still get to see everything about it. So here, there's a little tuck spot there, there's a tuck spot there, there's a pocket in here. And then this has um, picture corners, so they can put a picture or leave that card there. I have some little envelopes, and then this is a little pocket right there. Then we have some of these. And this I didn't do nothing to because I just thought it was so pretty, and then on vellum it was even prettier, and I just loved it, but you know. I just think it's so pretty. And then we have a little tuck spot here, and another little corner pocket there, and one here. Of course, journaling space, because to me that's super important. I love leaving tons of journaling room in my journals. This I left as is. I thought it was just so, so pretty with the very colorful eyelash trim. Again, another vellum sheet that I just love. Um, so I didn't do anything super extra. This is a little pocket, and then we've got corner, whoops, we've got a little cotton ball thing. Um, I have corner pictures, or pic picture corners? I don't know what they're, I think they're called picture corners. I always mess it up. More journaling room, and then here I have those picture corners. That one, again, I left as is. But you know, that's why I'm adding all that extra stuff, so if they want to add any butterflies, or any mats, or anything like that, they could do it to that and then more journaling room. This one I left as is, you know, they can do whatever they want. This is a little flip. Oh, and in here, there's more little uh, butterflies. And here's the other side flip. And then this, because it's Mod Podge, we know it's a pocket, and then I have that card there. We have this little pocket, and then this is a little tuck spot. And another, flip down here. This is a belly band. This is like a mat with little picture corners and then we have just another little paper. And here's a tuck spot and then a pocket. Again, I left this as is. I just think it's so pretty that it's okay that I don't do nothing to it. We have a pocket here. This one I didn't do anything to. And then this is a little envelope. You can put things in here. This is a tuck spot. Um, more pockets with cards and a bigger card. Journaling room. And there's a little tuck spot here. And another pocket to which I've added this one. Thank you so much to Ruth from Ruth's Inkwell for helping me find this uh, napkin, she sent it to me. I could not find it and uh, several people offered to send it to me, but hers was the first one to get here, so that's the ones I use. Thank you so much, Ruth. Again, two blank pages for 
whoever purchases them to do whatever they want. We have a little, um, I'll also be included in some of the eyelash trim. Got a few side pockets. And this is a little tuck spot right here. We've got corner pictures. And a lot of room for you to use the paper and the stuff that I'm including. Because if, I didn't want to do too, too much to it because I also wanted you to be able to do whatever it is that you want to do with it. This one's also another pocket. More journaling room and then a little corner pocket right there. A little tuck spot right here. And this one I believe has nothing. This is a belly band. And this has picture corners and I kind of did it that way so it could be like slanted. Um, but if you don't like that, you can probably just cover it with something else. And then another little pocket here on the side. And then the back page, which I think I love the most because I love what it says, write your own story. And that is the journal. And this is the finished journal. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed the series and that you guys like this journal. Again, if you're interested in purchasing, go ahead and send me an email or leave a comment down below. Payment will be through PayPal. I will put this book up on our website. Um, so you might want to check there first to see if it's even still available or you could just comment down below and I'll let you know if it's still available. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you guys like this video. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and join our tiny family. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.